So, as promised by Adobe, Adobe Experience Design Beta is now available for Windows. And like I actually said, it's available for Windows even before I release this course. So in the previous lectures, I said that hopefully it will be available by the time you are seeing this. Well, it is, and it is even available before I end recording this course. So again, if you head back to Adobe Experience Design, and that is adobe.com slash products slash experience dash design dot html, you're going to now find the download for Windows 10 button. Now, I believe this will only work with Windows 10 anniversary update. So if for any reason you see that the download button does not appear on your Windows 10 computer, or that maybe you are not able to install, it may be because you need to upgrade your computer. Now, Windows 10 anniversary update actually was released back in June, I believe, of 2016. So chances are you already have it. If you do not have it, you will be able to notice if you go to settings, if you go to system and if you go to about here in about you will be able to see the version and if you can see the version 1607 that means that you do have the anniversary update if you have a previous version you should now be thinking about upgrading to the anniversary update so all you have to do to install on windows 10 anniversary update is to click on the download for windows 10 button you will see an X file being downloaded and all you have to do is right click on it and you will see this installer pop up very similar to the one that we see back on Mac. In here, all you have to do is enter your email address and password. Once you are signing, you will also be seeing these questions which you can answer with how you feel as a beginner or experienced using Adobe XD or what is your profession currently and why are you downloading Experience Design for? Click on Continue, and you will see this small window for you to start installing the tool. Meanwhile, just like on Mac, you will see these three little windows telling you where you can learn more or where you can get inspired for your designs with Adobe Experience Design. It could take a little bit depending on your internet connection and on the speed of your computer, but it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes probably. So I'll get back to you when this is finished. After a while then, you will see this little window appear that installation was complete. And in fact, automatically you will see that Adobe Experience Design is opened. And as you can see, it looks very similar to what we have on Mac. So everything that we're going to be learning is going to apply for both Mac and Windows. So you can make sure that no matter what system you have got and no matter where you have installed Adobe Experience Design, everything that we're going to be doing is going to work the exact same way on both of them.